Welcome into the Box Tours blog. I'm Derek Forrest. I am here in Barberville, Kentucky on the campus of Union College where I was able to meet up with the football team here on their media day. Last year, Union College went 9-3, and 9-2 and two in the regular season, lost in the first round of the playoffs, finished second in the MSC. They also go into the preseason ranked 10th in the NAIA. I was able to catch up with a couple of players and head coach Tommy Reed as they talked about the upcoming season. All right, now when you look at this year, you guys probably start out as high as you've ever been. Preseason poll, NAIA, you guys are ranked 10th to start the year. Uh, you look at other teams in the conference, uh, UVA Wise in the top 25, and, and Cumberland's are, are also in the top 25. Uh, what's it like to have those high expectations, and, and how does the team live up to those expectations? Well, like I t tell our guys, you know, hey, it's nice to get recognition, but, you know, Preseason doesn't mean anything. It, you know, the, the bottom line is, you know, where are we going to be at the end of, se end of the season? And that's what's important. And, again, we just need to st uh, keep our focus one week at a time, not, not worry about uh, anybody but who, who we're playing that week. Uh, if we can do that, uh, you know, keep that focus one, one week at a time, you know, at, at the end of the season, hopefully, again, we'll, we'll be um, past expectations or, or at least up to them. Uh, this year, you know, the sky's the limit for us. We have a lot of returning starters, and we got some good transfers and good freshmen stepping up and stuff. So, you know, this year, like I said, the sky's the limit. Um, you know, the preseason rankings, that really doesn't mean anything if we don't win. The first game's a big game against UVA wise. So, like I said, we're looking for that conference ring this year and take it even further. Uh, I just, I hope we, I hope we do good. I hope we come together as a team. And I mean, of course, they're striving. We're striving to get back to a conference championship and win that. You know, get another ring. So. We'll actually get our first ring here, but you know that. Showing off your ring at Bell County, are you? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to last year real quick. You guys finished the season nine and three, or nine and two in the regular season. You guys pretty much put up points, as you know, pretty much whenever you wanted to. This year, you you still have pretty much the same the same set of uh, tools in the off for the offense. You've got Pollock back, PJ's back. Um, Dyer's back. You lose Callahan, though. Just talk about the offense, and uh, you know how how optimistic are you are you about the offense this year? This year, I think we're going to be better. Um, even though we did lose Callahan, we got uh, two key transfers in that play slot, and I think they're going to be real big for us. Rose going to be big on the outside, and PJ is going to be big on the outside. And I think overall, we're going to be better as offense. We're a year older, and we have a lot of weapons to work with. Uh, well, yeah, we, we lost Cali, and uh, that's big shoes to fill. But you know, we got we got some other guys that's gonna step up, and make make big plays for us, and we're just gonna keep keep it rolling. And uh, you know, Brinkley, he he's uh, he's been doing a lot of work over the summer, and he's looking real good. And receivers been doing work. Uh, Terrence has been doing work. Old line's looking good, and we're just gonna come back strong again. You know, the thing we like best about Mike is you know he's really a student of the game. Um, you know understands our offense, um, has continued to get better at, at understanding what defenses are trying to do to us. Uh, and, and he really does a great job of just managing the football game. And, you know, and that's something we, we want from our quarterback. You know, we, we tell him, hey, don't go out there and, and win the game for us. You know, just go out there and just, you know, make sure we don't get beat, you know, as far as, you know, forcing uh, forcing balls, making making bad audibles, things of that nature. Um, so he is, he's really done a good job with his development of, of understanding, again, what we're doing and, and, and just the game of football. Uh, at the same time, he's, he's worked really hard over the winter, uh, over the summer. He's uh, put, some, put some pounds on. He's gotten much stronger. He's throwing the ball a, a lot better than, than what he was a year ago. So, uh, you know, we, we've got high expectations for him, and, and, and he understands that and, and uh, is doing a great job uh, of leading our offense. Uh, when you look at this team, you – you were able to put up uh, just over 30 points a game, but you gave up 27 points a game. Obviously, you guys finished nine and three, so you're winning more than you were losing. But uh, how does this team make sure that uh, they're giving up less points this year? Well, you know, we really, our defense really buckled down. We got, like I said, a lot of returning starters. So um, in the secondary, we're more experienced. Linebackers are more experienced, and the D line, D line's big, and it's a big D line this year. So that'll stop the run. We just got to take care of everything else. So defense has got a lot more experience this year. Willie Williams and Paul Payton at linebackers were were pretty key for you guys. Uh, you know, how do you make up for for those losses, uh, especially Willie, who obviously kind of electrified everybody last year? Um, well, we just we're all gonna. Those two guys were the main, you know, defensive players. 
and uh, we also um, Marika Smith, and he was up there too. But we're just all going to have to. I mean, they're the leading tacklers, but we're all 11 of us on defense are going to have to, you know, swarm to the ball and you know, play together as a team. You know, you guys have a big rivalry with the University of the Cumberlands. They came over here last year and were able to beat you guys at home. Uh, this year, you guys go over there. What's it going to be like to, to beat them at home? And you've been here uh, for a while to, to kind of experience that rivalry. Talk about that. Well, I mean, like it's going to feel good when we win. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I want to, I want to play them. It's, gonna, it's always a good game. It always goes down to the wire. And we, they always play hard. And, then, uh, and it's always a good game. Can't wait for real. I didn't really know what the rivalry was last year until I was in the game and saw the people around and everything. I think this year going over there and pulling off an upset to them, that'd be a real big win and hopefully that'd clinch probably a, an MSC title. They came in here, I think they beat us by what, seven? I mean, that's just getting more motivation for our whole team just to get out there and, you know, gr get down there and grind with them and everything. And, it's at their place, uh, it would be huge when you go in there and upset them. So. Yeah, we're going to go over there and get it for sure, but um, we owe them a couple. You know, they've, they've got us a pass, past time, and I mean, that's what made a difference in a ring or not. So that's a big rivalry. Everybody gets amped up for that game. There's always a big crowd, so, you know, there's nothing better than, than Saturday rivalry. All right, finally, every coach says, uh, you know, obviously take the year one game at a time. Your first game of the year is against UVA Wise, and as I mentioned, they're in the top 25. Uh, what? What's the game plan for UVA Wise? You know, our, our game plan really is, you know, to ch try to figure out what we're going to be good at. Um, you know, we have some question marks about them. I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's opening game for everybody, you know, them and, and for us. And, you know, as far as game plan, you know, we're not sure what they're going to do. They're not sure what we're going to do. But, you know, what, what we have to do is find out what we're going to be good at on, on both sides of the football and just try to get a feel. Uh, of what our team, what our team is capable of, and, and uh, you know, so hopefully we can answer some of those questions, and, and uh, you know, just go out there and play good, sound, fundamental football, and, and uh, try to eliminate as many mistakes as we can.